welcome back to short movies today i'm going to recap a 2008 korean thriller movie called the chaser this movie is based on the real life serial killer named young chio who was convicted in 2005 of murdering 20 people even so he once was caught but he was released because there is no proof about his crime his target are prostitutes and torture them using hammer so how can he escape from the police and who is the hero here let's find it out it starts with a woman who is waiting for someone it turns out that she is a whore who meets his client in the center of the city and they are going to his house by her car a few days pass the car is still there without moving an inch a man named jim is looking for this car and finally finds it it appears that he is the pimp who's looking for her who is leaving without any word to him he is angry because feeling fooled by the woman who is leaving because having another pimp better than him this bald man is actually jung's partner who is spreading leaflets of jung's business selling whores in their small office it turns out that jung is called by the debt collector and asking for relief on his debt his business is not in a good condition the call is ringing and someone wants to reserve a whore then the woman comes and meets up with the client in his room before having fun with her client she wants to use the toilet unfortunately she finds that a man is hiding there holding a camera and ready to take a photo of her secretly knowing that she is leaving but is holded by the client and they are fighting jung is coming there after having a report and taking care of everything then he meets the woman who is saying that she wants to quit this job now his business is on the edge Many women don't want to work with him again and even some of them are leaving silently. A client orders a woman again to Jung, but no one woman left. There is actually one woman left, but she is sick. Because Jung doesn't want to lose the order, he calls her again and forces her badly by threatening her for not giving another client to her. Looking at her child, this woman with bad financial condition finally wants to satisfy this client. When Jung is about cleaning his stuff, he suddenly realizes that this client has frequently reserved some women by his number and they are missing right now. Jung calls his friend, the police, and asks him to help catch this criminal, who's selling his women to other clients. But he refuses because being busy. Jung calls this woman to send him the address of this client, and he will pick her up. When arriving at the client's house, this woman goes to the toilet and texts the address to Jung. Unfortunately, there is no signal there and furthermore the window is covered with a wall. There, she also sees a hair covered by blood that makes her scared. The woman is smart by saying that she wants to take her condom in his car. But this man has already locked the door. A moment later, the woman was already tied up in the bathroom. The man, named Young, is a psychopath killer who is carrying some tools. Because she is noisy, Young asks her why she wants to live. But, he actually doesn't care about the answer and kills her slowly by sculpting her head many times. While enjoying torture activities, he suddenly got visitors. The grandparents who are looking for their unseen neighbor recently. He asks them to go inside and it turns out he kills them to get rid of the traces. Because afraid of being caught, he tries to leave by his car. When Young is about to leave, Jung hits his car accidentally. Jung comes to his car to take responsibility for his car. But, he says no problem and he hurries to leave. Jung sees his clothes covered by blood and is suspicious that he is the client. He holds him there and calls the client's phone. His phone is ringing and he runs away. Jung chases him badly and finally catches him. He beats him all the way because Young makes his business even worse, by suspecting him of selling his woman. The police come and they are taken to the police office. There, Jung frames him selling his women, but he refuses. The police arrest Jung because he beats him badly. And the police are about to release Young because there is no evidence. But, this psychopath casually said that he didn't sell it but killed them with nine people in total. Everyone is shocked to hear that. The police further ask him about how he kills his victims. This psychopath killer says that he kills them by sculpting their head and torture them badly. He also left them for some days until their blood was drained so he could hang them up lightly like the butcher do on pigs. Then, the police want to test DNA between the blood from young clothes and Jung's woman. 
With Jung, the police come to the woman's house and take some hair as the sample. There, her daughter is alone, waiting for her mother. Pity with her, Jung takes care of this child. It turns out that this is not the first time that Young has been caught saying that he is a killer. But, he wasn't arrested because there isn't any proof about it. The same as now, the police don't find any proof. The DNA doesn't match and there is no corpse in the area that he Ivar mentions. Meanwhile, Jung also tries to find any proof by tracing his phone and asking about him to anyone related. There are some facts that he found, he is actually a psychopath who also threatened his sister's child, and he ever reserved a woman who is still alive and saying that this man's cock is very weak and seems impotent. Seems the police already know that he is impotent and it's the reason why he kills the woman for his satisfaction. On the other hand, Jung's partners find Young's hideout, but nothing there instead a big painting on the wall. The police officer has several hours again to find a single piece of evidence to arrest this psychopath. Jung is very frustrated and meets Young again to beat him again. He falsely asks him where the bodies were buried. Because the police are also frustrated, they pretend not to know what's going on inside the room. Finally, Jung leaves the room with his answer about where the bodies are. With a full army, the police go there and dig the ground there. The time is up and the police don't have any proof. Means that Jung is free now. Because the news has already spread around the country and the police leader doesn't want to take responsibility for innocent citizens leaving the police station with an injured face. The police officer gets an order to arrest Jung who is also with them. Jung is brought to the police. On their way, Jung messes them up and they get into a car accident. Then, he leaves. On the other hand, the woman is actually still alive. With very serious injuries, she tries to untie the rope and is able to leave. She runs away and goes into a store near there to call Jung, but he is not answering the phone because running from the police. No longer after that, a visitor comes to buy something in that store. The owner serves him while telling him there is a psychopath stranger who torture a woman here and he must be careful. It turns out that the visitor is young. Then, he asks the owner to give him a hammer. Thinking that he would protect her, she gives him a hammer. But he kills the owner and finds the woman inside there. Then, he crushes her head using a hammer many times until she really dies. Several hours after that, police find them dead in that store. Jung is also there and sees that the woman's corpse is there. But they cannot do anything. Jung finally opens his phone and receives her last message. She said sorry to him because she wants to quit from this job because she is scared and about dying right now. She only wants to live with her daughter. Hearing that, Jung is very sad and frustrated. While he is walking in the rain, he suddenly remembers about Young's painting. His finding led him to a house. There, he finds Young wearing a neat suit and asks him to go inside the house. Then, they fight as a man, but Jung beats him again badly. Now, Jung is furious and wants to kill him. Then, suddenly he sees that the woman's head is inside his aquarium and makes him more furious. But, it turns things around and Young hits him with a golf club. But, he is also tired and dying. With the remaining energy, Jung is about to finish him with a hammer. But, the police come and stop him from killing. At the end of the movie, the police take care of everything and all of the corpse is found in the backyard. The movie closes with Jung taking care of the woman's daughter. Make sure you subscribe to short movies and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this.